Hello everybody, this is Paul from Ortho Eval Pal. I want to talk a little bit today about treating a complicated knee. Um, this young lady is 62 years old. She had a total knee arthroplasty approximately eight weeks ago and comes to me today uh, for the first time uh, and she was lacking 35 degrees of extension and can you bend it for me please? It has max 77 degrees of flexion. This is eight weeks after total knee arthroplasty. So she's developing an arthrofibrosis. She's scarring down really hard. Um, when you feel the incision, the incision is very, very hard and adhered to the underlying soft tissues. So at this stage of the game, I don't care that she can um, get on a stationary bike, she can do heavy strengthening, straight leg raises, calf raises, all this business, okay? Our focus at this point is low load, long duration stretches with all of the techniques we've talked about in some of our previous videos on how to gain extension with manual stretching, with moist heat, elevating the ankle, using the extension board to try to gain that extension. And we are going to be, she has a severely tight retinacular structure around the kneecap. Her kneecap is not moving very well at all. So we're going to be mo mobilizing that kneecap significantly, medially, laterally, and superiorly. Focusing on extension. Gaining her flexion with low load, long duration stretches. And right there is a very firm end feel, but it's somewhat springy. So I think we can still gain on her. Um, the idea at this point is gain a couple degrees every day she comes in and we'll be happy with that. If she doesn't, she may require manipulation under anesthesia to get that better functional range of motion back. Her quad will not function well unless she has good extension to the knee. Today we were able to gain about 10 degrees of extension, which was encouraging. We're going to work on getting this to zero degrees really quickly. But she's going to be diligent four to five times a day working on range of motion. And I may even see her daily to try to regain that as, as quickly as possible. Um, so, regain that patella mobility, regain the motion first before doing strengthening. Strengthening will not, we won't get anywhere with strengthening if we're working in a very limited range of motion. So, um, let's work on that first, let's see how she does, and then we will focus on regaining strength and function and all that other good stuff. If you have any questions, uh, get in touch with me. I'm at orthoevalpal.com or um, paul at orthoevalpal, and, um, and uh, I'd be more than happy to answer your questions. Thanks.